Let's talk about meta emotions and how they influence our emotional lives. Imagine you've just received news that a colleague has been fired. You think they probably deserve it, given that they often miss deadlines, ignored emails, refused to clean up, and beat you out for that promotion. But you also remember the good times you had when you started with the company and learnt the job together. You finish your workday feeling quite sad. That is, until you get into your car and all of a sudden you feel angry. You can't imagine why you ever felt sad for your colleague and your sadness all but vanishes. One might ask, just as emotion researchers have. What happened here? Some might propose that in these scenarios you're feeling a complex emotion, like empathy, or maybe two emotions at once. But empathy doesn't explain why your sadness diminished, and there's no apparent reason for you to feel angry. There's actually a better explanation. Meta-emotions are most easily understood as emotions about emotions. To understand them, let's first take a look into appraisal theory, which states that emotions are elicited when we make appraisals about a situation, such as, does this help my goal, and can I cope? These same appraisals elicit meta-emotions, but only when they are based on the primary emotion, not the situation. In the scenario earlier, you appraised the situation, your colleague being fired, in a way that elicited sadness, and then you appraised the sadness in a way that elicited anger. Meta-emotions can then reflexively alter the intensity, quality, and subjective feel of your primary emotion. With reflexivity, your sadness might not be as sad anymore. If you've never heard of meta-emotions before, they might seem kind of complex, but really they primarily function to regulate our emotions. Meta-emotions tell us if what we're feeling is acceptable or unacceptable in terms of achieving our goals, upholding our values, or supporting our self-standards, and then they motivate us to do something about it. On the one hand, positive meta-emotions such as joy about shame or pride about interest tell us that our primary emotion is acceptable. They motivate us to engage in approach behaviours such as seeking similar situations and maintaining the primary emotion. They act as a green light. On the other hand, negative meta-emotions such as guilt about anger or disgust about hope tell us that our primary emotion is unacceptable. They motivate us to engage in avoidance behaviours such as avoiding similar situations or repressing the primary emotion. They act as a red or amber light. The main point we are able to take away is that meta-emotions are emotions about emotions which act as an acceptability gauge in terms of whether we should keep feeling what we're feeling and seek out similar situations or try to change our feelings and avoid similar situations. The next time you notice yourself feeling mixed emotions, consider whether it's a meta-emotion and what it might be trying to tell you. If you want to learn more about meta-emotion, head over to the Wikiversity page in the description. Thanks for listening.